All right, spend just one hour on an indoor bicycle and you could actually help fund important vision research on the UW campus. Joining us now to tell us more about a great event called Cycle for Sight is Dr. Dave Gam. He's director of UW's McPherson Eye Research Institute. Dr. Gam, before we talk about this fun event that's coming up next month, tell me about the important research you're doing here and you know why it is so important for people in Wisconsin. I think, well, right now we're growing. We have over 170 members and researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison wow. and across the state, which makes us one of the largest and most active research institutes for uh, the eye and visual system in the world. Hmm. Uh, and we are working together. So our specialty is really bringing people out of their individual labs forming teams of researchers mm -hmm. so that we can attack some of the big problems that are still plaguing us, things like age-related macular degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa, and other causes of childhood blindness, a severe glaucoma, and the list goes on, diabetic retinopathy. It affects a lot of people in our state. I was surprised uh, at the number. Over 100,000 folks are severely affected. If you include wow. individuals who have less severe forms of vision loss, then the number gets really large. So Cycle for Sight is an important and fun event that comes up next month. Uh, tell me what will be going on at it and how people can help raise money for what you're doing there at the university. Yeah. So it's March 12th. It's mm -hmm. In the morning, starts at 8, goes through, to, through till 1, but you can sign up for one-hour uh, increments. Okay. Uh, there, we have four different sites. The main ones are Princeton Club West as well as the surf and the net uh, on campus. And it's really fun. All ages, all abilities can uh, hop on a spinning cycle, uh, go at the pace that you want. You start the same place, you end the same place. It's not a competition. It's a lot of fun. Um, and it's a way to raise your heart rate, get a little sweat going in the middle of... Uh, middle of winter. And we're watching video there from uh, last year's Cycle for Sight event. So let's put that full screen up again to remind people that it is on March 12th. And there are two locations on campus. It's at the Natatorium and the Surf, and then the Princeton Club West, mm -hmm. right, out here on the west side of town. And this year it's new Flight Cycle on Junction Road. Correct. It's in the a afternoon. new location. Okay. So you can find out more about information on fees, hours at uh, NBC15.com under news links. So if someone hasn't been to Cycle for Sight before, doctor, why should they check it out this year? It's, it's fun. It gets you some good exercise. It helps to raise awareness for folks with low vision and blindness uh, in the state and also uh, provides funds and support for the researchers that are trying to help them every day. Great. Dr. Gam, thank you so much. If you want to find out more about this, again, go to news links at NBC15.com. It's the perfect time of year to get in a little exercise. It's not outside, it's inside. Get ready for spring. That's right. It's all lined up there for you at NBC15.com. Thanks again.